Hi, my name is Richard Montgomery, and I'd like to give a presentation to you on reform as design thinking. About halfway through, Mark Scholes will be jumping in and filling you in as well. First thing we'd like to ask of you is to think about your current leadership. Does your current leadership operate in such a manner that involves and values the people that directly impacts? Are decisions made to fit the needs of those impacted? All right. Our thesis is that leaders need to be searchers who use design thinking to develop creative problem solvers. Our path that we'll follow throughout our description of this reform process is we'd like to tell you what a searcher is, uh, what design thinking is, and how you can use a searcher mentality and design thinking to uh, tap creative thinking. In order to do this, uh, we'd like to talk about the difference between a planner and a searcher. A searcher is somebody who's out in the trenches, talking to the people, figuring out what the people need. Uh, you become a searcher by first collecting feedback, and this feedback has to be, it can't be superficial, it has to be real, it has to be used in order for it to work. Um, Easterly says that development happens mainly through homegrown efforts. This means that grassroots is sometimes the best for effective reform. Um, we believe that you need to voice the customer. You need to seek first to understand and then seek to be understood. All right, Design thinking is the process that we believe will get us to where we want to be. Um, being a searcher and using design thinking will take you a long ways. We'd like to quote one of our colleagues, um, kind of sums this up. She says, excuse me, Jennifer says that if you are using design thinking as a process and not as an initiative, you will not have to worry about buy-in. People will just believe in the process. I'd like to invite Mark up here to finish off our presentation. Mark. Thank you. One of the things that we'd like to specify from uh, the reading that wasn't necessarily emphasized was the fact that the design thinking system is actually a continual process. It's, re it's referred to a little bit in the readings, but not specifically and in much detail. Um, I wanted to quote Brown, uh, Tim Brown. He, uh, he says that the increasing complexity of products, services, and experiences has replaced the myth of the lone creative genius with the reality of the enthusiastic interdisciplinary collaborator. And that's the reason why we have the Lone Ranger up there. He can't operate alone anymore. It takes a team. Uh, next thing we have is a picture of uh, just collaboration. It is everything. Without it, it, any input that is sought is meaningless. Collaboration is necessary in order to um, tap into your resources correctly. Now, uh, creative problem solvers, that's the last major theme that we'd like to address uh, with you today. And the thing about creative problem solvers is that um, we need to make sure that we are developing them and it takes uh, a good leader principal and good staff in order to generate effective problem solvers in our students. Now here's a picture from one of my favorite movies, Office Space. And, and the bottom of it is the famous scene where they're smashing the copy machine. And what we're referring to in this picture is the fact that some teachers at, at August uh, sit there and they make thousands of copies of materials that they've used for the last 15 years. Now, I pose the question, why are we copying the same materials year in and year out? We need to be effective models as teachers and also as administrators if we hope to create the very thing that we set out to, and that is effective student problem solvers, innovative thinkers. So there needs to be some sort of a paradigm shift that takes place uh, at all levels, including the administrative level. But most uh, specifically, teachers and students need to be able to experience a sort of a transformation where they see that it's important to be innovative and not just settle for whatever takes place. Um, they say that by the fourth grade, that students begin to lose their ability to um, think creatively. So that there needs to be a shift in that aspect. Um, one of the, uh, the Pillotson video on YouTube illustrated also the necessity for uh, leaders and all people involved with education to seek outreach from the community at large, whether that's engineers, whether that's um, cooks, any profession. 
what valuable input can we gather from the community uh, in order to uh, pool that into the curriculum that we have um, in our school districts. So what? So what does this all mean? Well, as you can see in the picture there, there's a bunch of hands, and it takes a village if we hope to accomplish our tasks. Um, in conclusion, a good leader that's a serger will establish a culture of learning for all students to create students that are innovative and also to create a culture where teachers are using design thinking as a methodology to accomplish their goals.